Hi, Heather here from Creative Kiwi. We've put together this really quick video on how to make our free sewing machine key fob and bag tag. This is really a video for someone that's never done any kind of vinyl um, key fobs before. There's a ton of designs out there and I've finally joined the craze. So take a look, you'll see how easy it is. You not just uh, have to be vinyl used in these designs, basically any non-frame material. Um, felt obviously it's a pretty good one uh, but these days you can get just a lot of materials just at your local uh, sewing shop that have some kind of coating on them so they just don't fray so you can use anything like that or you know what do something like this in denim and you could fray the edges um, just have a play around I'm sure you'll enjoy it let's get started first of all I'm just going to show you in pictures how to do how easy it is to do the key fob basically you just stitch your placement line, put a piece of vinyl on top, stitch the design, then you're going to add a little bit of vinyl underneath, which I just float, or you can tape and place on the back if you prefer. Make sure that the edges are all covered on the back, stitch the vinyl um, colour, and that's your key fob, and you just got to cut it out. That's how simple it is. These days it's really easy to buy the, um, like the keyring attachments and the snap pens. But what, do you, what are you going to do if you don't have um, those pretty little machines? Which, by the way, in New Zealand I got from Green Bees. I think they're in New Zealand, an Australian uh, company. Um, what we'll do is we'll get a link on um, the website of where you can get them from in America. I think it's they're pretty generally widespread these days to buy the canned snaps. And obviously the key ring um, links you can get from anywhere. If you don't have can snaps, you can just add a hanging tag. Just use the um, individual sewing machine design. And as you can see there, all I've done is put a piece of vinyl around um, a key fob, basically. Or, I don't know what they're called, the clippy things. And I'm just taping it in place after I've done the placement line. Now you can do this just to add a piece of ribbon, um, you know, if you want to make it an ornament. I'd be quite happy having an ornament on my Christmas tree like this as a wee sewing machine. <laughs> Okay, now we're just going to go through here to make the, I guess I've called it a page holder, bookmark, I'm not sure what you could do. I mean, basically you're just using the um, the individual sewing machine design. You can make it as a coaster, or you can do as what we're doing here is um, going with our um, notebooks, actually. I thought it was a brilliant idea. Um, you could put this around your notebook, and they're really, really simple to make. The only difference here is obviously you need to cut a piece of elastic to fit. And so I'm just, you can see here what I'm doing. I've just um, basically stretched a piece of elastic around, around the notebook that I'm using. Just Next all we're going to do is hoop a stabiliser. And you can use tearaway stabiliser if you like. And stitch your placement line. Now, um, this is the same as the key fob now. Uh, basically you're stitching the placement line which is the, the outside area. Okay, so that's the biggest it's going to be. So you can be quite happy that um, as long as you cut a baking piece of that size, it will fit. So here we go, we've stitched the placement line. Now we're just um, taping in the elastic. And I know it's quite hard to see in the video, but it's the same as before. You're taping outside of that placement line. That way you don't have to worry about um, getting rid of the um, sticky tape or anything like that. Now I've done it top and bottom, just like you would if you're doing a um, Put one at the top for a hanging tag, and also I just put one to the side there just, just to stop it. But when you're doing something like this, you really need to watch your machine because there's a few things that the um, foot could catch on. You know. But keep an eye on it, and you'll be fine. Here we go, we place the vinyl over the placement line, and you're stitching out um, colours, cutting the thread. Stitching out, as I say, you do this for any design, any um, vinyl design. So if you uh, look at some of our key fobs that we're bringing out, um, same thing. You're just sticking the vinyl down, stitching out your design. And so for this one, we've got the grey, I did it in grey anyway, uh, sewing machine outline. We've got the next colour is the blue, which I think I'm showing here anyway, the blue uh, thread and the wee heart on the machine. And then the last colour I've done in pink, which is just the initial. So the design comes with all of the initials if you don't have your own editing software. So pick your initial and then just stitch it. Now we're just floating the backing underneath, but 
as before if you're more comfortable with taking your hoop off the machine and taping it in place you can do that either way just check that you can see um, the back of the design or that the vinyl is covering the back of the design and then you go ahead and stitch the final outline and once again that's it these final designs are very simple and very fast Now it's just a matter of um, removing your design from the hoop and cutting away. I just sort of show here just a wee bit just to make sure because I guess the, the main thing is to have um, sharp scissors and also not to cut the elastic off. So you can see I do it together and then I just play around a wee bit and do each side one by one. And that's it. Well, I hope that video just shows you how easy it is to do these vinyl designs. Um, I'm going to put out my well, one set anyway I've got at the moment, which is just some um, key fobs, really good individual key fobs, which are good for Christmas presents, um, adding in, and just some flowers that I really like. So um, enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Bye.